In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss conditional probability. I'm going to set the problem up first and then go through it step by step. The notation is a little cumbersome, so I'm going to go through an example. Again, it's just setting up the problem, and I'm going to walk through it step by step. The P is, what is the probability? That's the P. And in this example, rolling a dice and its value is less than 4 is event B. Knowing that the value is an odd number is event A. I could write it as this instead. What is the probability of rolling a dice and its value is less than 4 and knowing that the value is an odd number? But that would be really cumbersome. And that's why statisticians use the shorthand notation that they do. So now the problem is all set up, and this is the equation. We're going to find out the values for this, and I'm going to show you to you symbolically or visually as well. With a six-sided dice, you could roll a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. There is a 1 in 6 chance of rolling a 1, or a 3, or a 4, or a 5, or a 6. They're all the same. If I add all these up, if I actually add up all the 1s, they equal to 6. So I have 6 over 6, or 1, which means everything's covered. Event A is rolling a dice and its value is an odd number. So in this case, the die could be a 1, a 3, or a 5. There's a 1 out of 6 chance for a 1 a 1 out of 6 chance for a 3, and a 1 out of 6 chance for a 5. All those 1's added up equal to 3, so there's a 3 out of 6 chance of getting one of those, or about 1 half. Actually, 1 half, not about, is 1 half. Now, event B is rolling a dice and its value is less than 4. It could be a 1, a 2, or 3. There's a 1 6 chance for each of these as well. And again, adding these up will equal to 3 6 or 1 half. Let me show this to you also visually or symbol symbolically as well. Again, event A is rolling a die and its value is an odd number. So I'll just put in the circle there a 1, a 3, and a 5. The probability a dice is less than 4 is event B, so I'll just put in there 1, 2, and a 3, like that. Now, if I take these two events and I find out where they intersect or where they cross or what they have in common, that's the brown area right there. And I write that as the probability of A intersection B. And in this case, they intersect two out of six times, or two six. That's the probability, or this equals one third. Again, I'm concerned with the intersection of these two events. Now I have everything I need to make my calculation. So what is the probability of event B happening if I know event A happened? So again, the P is, what is the probability of, that's the P, B is rolling a die and its value is less than 4. And event A is knowing the value is an odd number. So this all equals to the probability of an intersection of A and B divided by the probability of event A, which is equal to 1 third. Remember, 1 third is the intersection, which we just calculated. It's what A and B have in common. And that happens two out of six times, and I simplified that to one-third, and that's where that one-third comes from, one over three. And this is divided by the probability of event A, which is one-half. 
And again, three out of the six possibilities of rolling a die can be an odd number. And this simplifies to one half. And that's where the one half comes from. And this equation can be rewritten and simplified as two divided by three or two thirds. And now here's what this says. It says that if I know that the value is an odd number, two out of three times, the dice is going to be less than four. I'm going to change the problem slightly, and I'll repeat it, repeat the process how I solve it. Now, if I know that the value is an odd number, what's the probability that the value is one? The probability of event A is exactly as it was before, and it's still one half. And I'll go ahead and put that in there. Event B has changed, though. And let me start over at the very beginning, like I did last time. What is the probability of rolling a dice and its value is 1? It's just that blue right there or one-sixth of the time, one out of six. So now I can rewrite this a little visually for you. Probability of A, event A, an odd number is exactly the same as it was last time. The probability of event B, well, in a dice and its value is one, there's just one, there's only one thing in there. The intersection now, the brown area becomes the intersection becomes 1 divided by 6. And I'll plug that into the equation. So this all simplifies to 1 third. In the end, this says that if I know that the value is an odd number of a dice that's been rolled, the probability that it's a 1 is 1 out of 3 chance. Hopefully you'll share the knowledge and maybe even like us on Facebook. Comments, questions, and requests below. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm always posting new material to help you in your stats class.